Hi and welcome to today's vlog. It's New Year's Eve 2017 and I'm in Wales and it's absolutely throwing it down. Isaac, you're getting wet. Quick, get in the car. Go, 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 go. So we're in Aberaeron. It's absolutely throwing it down and we're going to go and take shelter in a cafe somewhere. So hello and welcome to a rather scruffy looking vlog. The reason why I'm recording this vlog today is to discuss a meal replacement diet that I've recently started and I can see the camera shaking like mad in the wind. Car coming past. Um, just over a month ago, I started a meal replacement diet. Um, the meal replacement diet is called Huel. I'll cut away to some footage of that now. It's like a protein shake, but it's got some other bits and pieces in it as well. Apparently it's a complete balanced diet that you're supposed to, you can just solidly eat nothing but this. Um, I'm not doing that at the moment. I am just literally replacing my meals that I have at work. So in the past 12 months since I've been working for my new employer, I've managed to pile all the weight back on again. Um, this is mainly because I've been working shifts. So because I'm working days, nights, etc., etc. I've basically just been eating whatever's been on offer in the staff canteen. Uh, more recently, that comprised of shepherd's pie with a side order of chips. So because I was getting a little fed up of eating carbohydrates with more carbohydrates, I thought I was going to look for something, and then this huel came into place for what I was going to be using. So it's dead simple. I just measure out my uh, mix. It's like a powdered mix that you get from huel. Um, you have a little scoop that you come with it, and with the scoop, you just measure out how much you need. I personally, I'm using three scoops into, I put it into a little sandwich bag. I take that to work. I can then tip that into the heel shaker. I'll shake it when I'm at work um, and then just drink it when I'm there ready. It's good because it means I'm, it's not that I'm having to watch what I'm eating. It's just, I don't have to think about what I'm eating. That's the main reason why I'm doing it. Um, so I've been doing this for just over a month now. Um, when I first started back in the 20th of November, I think it was, I was about 99 and a half kilos. Um, I'm sure I've got some footage on the screen of that now. That's when I thought, you know, I've had enough. Let's go and search for something else. And this is when I found the Huel. Um, like I said, it's an acquired taste and I've been sticking with it for just over a month now. Um, I've only been eating it at work. So replacing my meals that I'm having at work, whether I'm on days or nights, I'm replacing my meals with Huel. Um, it's, it's been going well. Um, I've so far within the last within the first month, sorry, I've managed to lose myself about four kilos. So I've gone from 99 and a half ish to 94 and a half or there thereabouts. Um, it's been, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a happy, I would say I'm definitely happy with losing four kilos over four weeks. Um, I don't want to go mad and try and lose loads of weight at the, straight away. Last year, the main way I lost most of my weight, I was doing something called the military diet. Um, that I would say is one of the hardest diets I've ever tried to do because you literally have to eat 1200 calories in a day. So when I was on this military diet, it was going quite well. Um, then it, my weight kind of flattened off. It hits a plateau, it wouldn't go down anymore. Um, and then when it hit that plateau, that's when I had to start doing exercising. So I used to go out and do running and cycling and things like that. And it was all, it was going well. And then I lost lots of weight once I started doing the exercise. Um, so this time around, I'm going to try and see where he will take me first. And then once it plateaus off, I'm then going to start putting my exercise back on again. Um, I've got myself a road bike. So it's my very first road bike with clip-in shoes. So stick with my vlogs. Um, that'll be interesting to see how I get on with trying to get my feet in and out of the pedals. Um, nervous to say the least. I'm definitely a bit concerned about that. But I've always fancied the idea of getting a road bike and being able to go long distances on it. I've, um, I said I've got myself the road bike. I'm going to try and get myself back into the running again. This is completely the wrong time of year. Today is January the 1st as well. So it's the whole day of... New Year's resolutions and all of that. Um, it's a very glum, wet and rainy New Year's. Um, but yeah, so my New Year's resolution will be, I want to try and achieve um, a decent weight loss this year, try and get myself into decent shape for next year. So I've actually given myself 
over 12 months for this next one. And I want to try and enter a triathlon. Um, the one that Jensen Button runs, or um, I've quite fancied trying to do that for, um, for a few years now. So as a result, I'm going to try and get myself into shape for trying to do that triathlon in 2019. And I also have always fancied trying to do the um, Land's End to John O'Groats bike ride as well. So I'm going to be trying to get myself into enough shape for that one as well. So please stick with me over the next coming weeks and months. Um, if you want to know something more about Huel, um, I'll put a link down in the description box below. Um, I'd really appreciate it. If this is your first time as well visiting my channel, I would really appreciate it if you'd like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, drop me a comment below why you've come here or how you've managed to arrive to this video. I'd really appreciate knowing you know, how you got here. Um, any feedback or support you guys might have, I'd really appreciate it as well. Please also take the time to check out my other videos as well. Me and my wife, Gina, we went away to America. We ended up doing two and a half thousand mile drive to go and see the Twister filming locations. Um, all of those videos now are on and at the end of this video there will be a clickable link so you can actually go through every single video. I think there's 10 videos in total that you can look at. So anyway, thanks very much everyone. Um, like I said, please drop me a comment um, and give me a like as well. And if you're not already done so, please subscribe. Anyway, right now the camera is on the opposite side of the road and I am standing here trying to look like I am actually standing in the middle of Wales when I'm not, I'm actually standing in a road. So there's my camera over there. <laughs>